Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU, President of the Regent Trophin University College of Applied Science, Reverend Dr. Father Moses Awinyongya, has lashed out at government for abandoning the reconstruction of the Bongo Belungu Namor Road Project in the Bongo District, work on the bridge and road project has been abandoned after a sword cutting ceremony in July 2018, a report by Tanko Mohamed Rabiu. Constructed in 2003, the Bongo Balongo Bridge is one of the important bridges in the Upper East region due to its importance to the local economy. The road links to Burkina Faso, where much of the Bongo Assembly's internal revenue is driven from through the Ghana border at Namor. The bridge caved in in 2014, making life unbearable for residents, especially pregnant and nursing mothers, who cross over to the Bongo District Hospital for referrals. The only private university college in the Bongo District is an international Christian educational institution. President of the college, Reverend Dr. Father Moses Asa Awinyonya, blamed the Bongo District Assembly and the central government for not doing much to rehabilitate the bridge. The road is miserable. And it is causing us not to have students. And so if you want more development, you should work on the road. Period. Several demonstrations and appeals by residents from Balungu, Namor and its environs to have the bridge fixed have proved futile. A year after President Ekufado cut sword for the bridge to be reconstructed, most residents have expressed worry about the slow pace of work by the contractor in completing the work. Akologo Dominic is the assemblyman for Balungo Electoral Area. This bridge. First, when the bridge was old, uh, the person can pass this way. Can pass this way. But now you can see that it's even creating another a big river more than it was first. We even presented a letter concerning of this bridge, then the current state to DCE, expecting that when he comes, maybe something concrete can do to it. As we speak now, you can even see, look at the taxi driver coming. Sir. Apart from these small cars, there's no any car that can pass here. Even when it's rain, sir, the motor that we are using, the Pascal, you can't even pass here. So, as a assembly member, I think my duty is together with my people, you can even see them around, to cry to our DCE who is with us here as a present to see whether we we'll get a help from them. The reconstruction of the bridge cost 14 million cities. Some residents expressed worry over the delay of the project. I'm a teacher at Bolungo Junior High School. In fact, this river is causing us a lot. Anytime it rains, we have to stay back. We cannot cross to this side and go and teach. Neither those who are at this side can also cross to this side and go and teach. So we are pleading to the government to come and aid us on this river. Or else learning and teaching will remain in vain. The colleague out of Bonamua Bolungo Bongo was the elder at Bolunga Moor. The Quatara Dangme. The situation is affecting residents here, especially women. We are urging government to, as a matter of urgency, fix the road and the bridge. The Bongo District Assembly has lost a huge chunk of its internally generated funds as a result of the broken bridge and culverts. In August 2018, the Assembly only had 8,000 cities from its internally generated funds. This increased to 9,000 cities in October 2018. The Assembly is likely to generate 14,000 cities a month after the completion of the reconstructed bridge and culverts. 30 persons living with disability in the Nabdam district of the Upper East region have received three female goats each as part of the 3% District Assembly Common Fund for persons with disability. The beneficiaries commended the Nabdam District Assembly for allocating funds from the Disability Common Fund adequately and with fairness and called for the inclusion into the Rearing for Food and Job program, a report by Tanko Mohamed Rabiu. 
The Namdam District Assembly, for the second time of its allocation of the 3% District Assembly Common Fund, presented three female goats each to 30 persons living with disability in the district. At the beginning of 2019, 26 persons living with disability received three goats each. The Nabdam District Assembly has so far allocated part of the 3% District Assembly Common Fund for Persons with Disability to 177 beneficiaries out of 450 registered persons with disability in the district, amounting to 45,000 cities. The 177 beneficiaries are those who have applied for location with their area of interest. 122 persons with disability also received funds to cater for their medical bills, while 27 persons with disability received funding to cater for their educational needs. The Nabdam District Assembly Fund Management Committee Chairman appealed to the district to include persons with disability in the Rearing for Food and Jobs program. We ask for more support. If anything that is coming, the government, the way the government is putting up good ideas, bringing up good programs, yes, continue to have, ha, help us. I understand he's coming up with all this, another, even a program out, ready for food and jobs, yes. Don't forget us. The Nabdam District Chief Executive assured persons with disability of the inclusion in government pro poor programs. There, there are disability in the district. We have over 600 to 800 in this district. And those who are not under LIP, they are also being supported by the field of I think LIP, they give them all the time, they support them, give them money quarterly, monthly for their support. And these people and the rest too, the money, part of the common fund, is been for them. When I came to office, I said this money is allocated to them. I always say to become a disability, it doesn't take you months or years. It can take you a second to be as them. The head of the Nabdam District Social Welfare, Rosina Musa, said about 300 more persons with disabilities will soon benefit from the 3% District Assembly Common Fund. This is not the first time we are doing this. It is an activity which is ongoing. As, as uh, applicants keep on requesting, we also assess their needs. Then we give them whatever that they request for. So today, like this, we have 91 animals which we are giving out. And they are all female goods. So we still encourage the beneficiaries that when they take this animal, they should take very good care of it. That's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.